Welcome, Second Amendment family. It's Will here today. I just want to do a quick video on what today is. Today is National Stop the Bleed Day. And with that being said, what it is, is the American College of Surgeons has put a committee together, and our thing together. It's called StopTheBleed.org. So you, and they've got this small class you can take. Today I, ta I took the class, and this class today is about stopping the bleed. So if you get a major wound, you know, in your arms, your stomach, your chest, your back, your neck, your legs, how to stop that, you know, a, a, not just like, you know, I'm cut my shelves, myself shaving, but a, a real cut or a real a bullet hole, a puncture, whatever, car wreck, and you're losing a lot of blood and that you're about to bleed out and die. So that's what this is about today, National Bleed Day, National Stop the Bleed Day. Uh so I took the class today at my local hospital at St. Francis Medical Center. I completed the class. This class was put on by the Cape Trauma Specialty Team uh, at the hospital there. And they're an amazing, amazing group of people. This class was free. It takes you about an hour to an hour and a half, two hours to do the class. We did it in about an hour and 18 minutes. Uh, for us today, there was 15, I think, of us in there. Uh, but we had a good time, uh, a lot of information, uh, at the end of the class, you got a free tourniquet. Now it's not the best tourniquet, but it will work in the situation. Uh, but for us second amendment supporters and people that like to still carry farms or just everybody needs to have some kind of first aid and slash trauma kit with them. Okay. Whether it's on you, in your car, whatever. So like me, I have a, a everyday carry bag that's got tourniquet. It's got, it's got two tourniquets now in it. Uh, actually, two different types. It's got three tourniquets, three different, two different types. Uh, it has a, it's got some this in it. All right. It has gauze. It has petroleum jelly gauze. It has uh, chest seals. Then it has quick clock gauze. All right. And it has shears you know the medical shears and it also that way if anything happens i pull up in an accident i'm at work and somebody gets hurt there's a you know uh right it never happens with an active shooter whether i'm involved to help stop that situation or not but i can help people at the same time uh so this this class was a basic class which is a really good class it was really informational for no more than what it was uh and you could save somebody's life uh, and I suggest anybody taking a good class like that. Like I said, my local hospital, St. Francis Medical Center, we have two. That's the one I go to all the time. They saved my life last year. Uh, I seen this on their Facebook that they were going to do this today. I seen it the other day when they advertised it, so I jumped on and signed up. And it was free. Why not? Uh, a couple hours out of my day, by the time I got there and left, came home. A couple hours, good, done. And I got, and I already, like I said, I already knew this stuff, but it's good. It never hurts to retrain. It's like firearms. It never hurts to take the CCW course again. It never take, hurts to take pistol classes, you know, pistol defense one, two, or three classes. You know, it depends on where you're at in your training. It don't hurt to take them classes over again. Uh, CPR class you have to take over again, so it never hurts. Uh, so it's always good to refresh yourself. Now, you can't always go to a class in person in a classroom setting, so sometimes you have to do it online. And there's, there's great places to do that, you know, because you can own these kits, but if you don't own a kit, or if you do own a kit and don't know how to use it, what's the point of owning this kit, right? Kind of, kind of simple, right? Uh, however, say, say you got a kit and you don't know how to use it, but you want to. So then you can go to, there's different places. Uh, I'm an American Warrior Society member. If you want to know how to become a coin member from them, it'll be in the link below. Just, just click on it go from there uh but uh, my coin number is 2269 you get a cool little coin it's actually in the living room came from my pockets while ago and it's got their on one side it's got their emblem here and then the other side's got your coin number it's really cool i really i really like it and it's uh but you go to the why, why i like it's because we're part of a, a society i guess you want to call it so that's what it's called and they got a lot of training on their website okay if you're a coin or a coin member you get all their training in the vault you get some free training in it, but i think the medical part is part of the coin member and so 
So with that, there's several different videos in there. There's like four or five. One talks about how to build your first aid kit and your first aid slash trauma kit or your IFAC kit, which is individual first aid kit. And that's not just bandage, you know, like band-aids and stuff like that. It, it's trolling uh, galls. It's uh, Vaseline galls. It's quick plot. It's, like I said, this stuff. Tourniquets, it's all that. All right, stuff that you can stop the bleed. So that's it. Tells you how to build a kit, and it tells you, it gives you a shopping list and what to get to help build that. Then, then they have one on how to put pressure on a wound, which this class teaches you how to do that. They give you this cool little book when you take the class and you complete the class, and it talks about how to save a life, what you need to do, ensure your own safety. You know. Bleeding. You want, it's your ABCs. So your first day is you want to alert, call 911. Second is you want to find the bleeding. So C is compressed. So you want to put compression on it, put pressure on that wound to pack that wound or to use a tourniquet, whatever the case may be. It might be you have to do all of them in the long run. All right? But it tells you that. It gives you this cool little book. Uh and what to do, you know, and it gives you a whole little summary here. You can throw this book in a bag, in a go bag or an everyday carry bag, so you have it up that way. If, you know, you forget, you can pull it out. Somebody's with you, they can look it over. You, I mean, you can throw it out there and look at it in the front if you need to, okay? Uh, in the heat of the moment, people forget things, you know. Adrenaline starts pumping, you know. There's an active shooter somewhere, and that's talking about the... You want to make sure your own safety. You want to make sure if you're in an active shooter situation, you want to make sure you get to that person. You don't want to go in the line of fire and try to take care of them in the line of fire. You want to get them out in a safe area. So, and other things. If it's in a car wreck, you want to make sure you're not sitting out in the middle of the road where you get ran over, stuff like that. You're at work and it's high, you know, you got voltage lines laying around. You don't want to get hit by electricity. You want to make sure that's safe too. So it's just, it's all that. It's not just about firearms and knives or anything like that. Uh, but, you know, that's that's the other part of the videos that on American Warrior Society, or AWS, is, you know, how to put pressure, how to use a tourniquet, how to, and that's actually two videos, but how to pack a wound. Uh, then you have, like, another one of their videos is shot placement. Uh, you know, tactical shot placement. Where, if you have to shoot somebody, where is the best place to shoot them? Now, we're not going to get too big into that because it's not right here. Not right. That's not what today's about. Uh, but that's just something they're talking about. Because uh, you want to stop it. Stop the threat. So, anyway, uh, today's about what today's about. Stop the bleed. Uh, go find some good quality training. Check around your local hospitals. Just around town, there's programs that they offer these classes like i said my offered it free today i don't know if they're how if they're just going to do it once a year if they're going to do it several times a year now <coughs> they've stopped please been going for five years now i believe uh -oh. but but now you need a good trauma kit right uh -oh. now you can find trauma kits anywhere you can find some on amazon there's different companies out there that sell them uh, I mean, you could go to Academy Sports has uh, trauma kits. You can you can buy the pieces like like the quick pot, uh, the quick pot gauze, chest seals. I don't, I didn't see any tourniquets there. They got pieces of that you can get there. Uh, why don't you go somewhere like Mount Med Medical, uh, which is an amazing company? Uh, they have all your needs that you need. They have kits already built, or you can build your own. Uh, and they have partner kits, you know, there's several different partner kits in there. They have a, one kit for, uh, say, you're a church member and you're on the security team for a church because you've had some churches been had shootings inside of them. And so you're one of their security team. Now, hopefully that security team is not open, openly wearing a tactical vest with armor. But if they are, hey, whatever it takes, right? Uh might make some people nervous, but whatever it takes. I'm not opposed to anything. 
Uh, but you know these the ones that they have for that are just a little kit, and it could, it's got molly attachments to attach to your armor, to your belt, wherever. Like I said, they also make them for your ankle. Uh, you can attach them to your ankle so they're inside above your shoe. Uh, then they make a little bit bigger ones that they attach to molly webbing or to your belt. Uh, and there's some of them are partner, like I said, like the uh, Amer- AWS has one. Now, theirs has a couple extra things that some people wouldn't need, uh, but theirs is what Mike Seeklander and Rich Brown from AWS really like, and they help put this kit together with them. So it's what they like, and, you know, they both have great training, military and police training, uh, security training. So, I mean, if it's good enough for them, it could be good enough for, for us, right? Uh, and they have other ones like the Yellowstone. It's their bigger individual kit, one of their bigger individual kits. Then they had the sweet water, which is a little bit smaller, a little less in it. But you can always add to it. And then they have other ones for multiple casualties or multiple victims. I don't want to say casualties because that's what we're trying to prevent. But right now they have a 15% discount for today and tomorrow, which today is Thursday the 19th. And tomorrow is Friday the 20th of May. So if you use their discount, which it happens to be Stop the Bleed, all capital letters, you get a 15% discount. All right, and that's not our discount code. That's what theirs is. They sent it to me today. Uh, so that's what it is. Uh, but I'll put a link below for both them and AWS. Uh, like I said, check them out. And wherever you go to get a medical kit, I just recommend you get a good medical kit uh, with good product. Uh, but whatever you can afford is what you can afford. And that, something's better than nothing. And, you know, and then in, in our class, we talk about improvised. Uh, tourniquets, like I can't take, I'm like, I'll take my belt off right now, because I've actually got a new belt that I'm trying out, it is from We the People, it's, uh, the buckless gun belt, the falcon buckless gun belt, I think what it's called, and it's, uh, real sturdy, real rigid, and it, you can't, you know, you can't, there's no buckle, so you can't squeeze it down, and my other one, I just had, oh, right here, there's another one that I've been trying out, I bought this off of Amazon, this is just, it's a cheap 15 $20 belt. Uh, this is made by Wolf Tactical. Uh, like I said, this here, and this is not a belt video, but I'm going to show you what you can do with it. Okay? And I'm still a Bigfoot gun belt fan, but I'm just trying different things out to see if it's a different thing. Maybe I can send some stuff to Bigfoot and tell them what some stuff I like. This here, this is a, tech, they call it a buckle gun belt too, but it does have a little plastic buckle. And you just, you can make this a tourniquet pretty easy. Okay? When you use a tourniquet, it's going to hurt. It's supposed to hurt, but you want to stop the blood flow. So you're going to use a tourniquet until it quits bleeding. Okay? Obviously, you never put a tourniquet around your neck because you don't want somebody to die. But we're preventing. But that's just that you can use my big foot. About to get it out. This is a big butt gun belt. It's actually got a different belt buckle that don't work on it like I wanted to. It's, it's fine because there's a metal in it. But you could make this a tourniquet as well. Okay. Anyway, so that's a couple options you got. Like I said, you go to different places to get your, your uh, trauma kits. Uh, I like to say I like Mount Men Medical. There's several different ones out there. Uh, so as long as you have one, you get some good quality training. You don't. I mean, you can go to YouTube and look up videos on good quality training as well. You know, you don't have to be a coin member for AWS. That's just where I like. That's where I like to use them. Uh, but check them out. Uh, so I hope you're having a great day. I know it's been a while since I've done a video. Uh, we'll do more. So if you want, like, like and subscribe to this video, please. Uh, if you have any questions, put them in the comments, and we'll be happy to answer them. We, uh, that's what we're here for, guys. Uh, if you haven't joined, we have a on Facebook, we have a group called the EDC with your Second Amendment family. Uh, join us over there, and you can always ask us questions there or any co- topics. Just look at the rules when you join. Oh, all we ask and follow the rules. Uh, obviously, we're not putting no prices, or we're not trying to sell nothing there. Uh but there you go. Like I said, you can join us over there. There's always ways to ask us questions over there. 
My name is Will Rhodes. You can look, look me up on Facebook if you want to send me a question that way. Add me as a friend and send me send me questions to Messenger or just on my direct page if you want to. I don't care. Uh, I'd rather help you out. Okay? Uh, if you have any questions, I'm not a professional in any way. I do have a lot of training and different things. Safety, first aid, trauma. I've, you know, before today I've had a lot of this stuff already. Uh, firearms. Uh, like I said, I'm not an expert, but I do a lot of training. I've got a lot of training. I like to pass that stuff on to you guys. So, remember, always carry. Carry safe. Train safe. Train smart. Y'all have a great day. Thank you, guys.